Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to our channel. It's early morning, 8 a.m. They just started working today and I just heard the good news that our contractor will be here today to install his um, own barracks or his own living space. Well, let's see what's going on in there. Well, looks like Huya is doing the uh, upset bend, and let's see what it looks like. So, if you if you notice closely right here, so this is for splicing our connection between the uh, first of uh, tie beams, and they need to connect over in the first uh, column in that corner. And so currently, uh, they're about to set up the uh, splice connection on the other one and they're doing the measurement about the uh, upset or if they had to cut it all right they're doing their trick the catcher of all the rebar <laughs> so they're marking the place where they're gonna put the stirrups He's using a broken tile. Uh, huh? Hard duplex. Oh, he's using a hard duplex as a marker. <laughs> now, let's see what's the splice lack. Okay. Okay, yan. So this is the position. Ano yan? Yan yung fix. <coughs> okay, so this is the actual position of the splicing. Well, we have uh, a little bit of drama here. So my husband is trying to explain to me regarding about the splicing. And he's saying that the splice should be all the way in the middle. But the hard part here in, in the Philippines is the size of the rebar is fixed. It's like 600 centimeter. Unlike in the other country, you can uh, customize the size based on the splice where you wanted to place it. But here in the Philippines, there are times that uh, there's the end of rebar is going to end up over here, there's one over here, there's one over there. So it's very hard to kind of explain to my husband that this is best practice here in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, so we have a little dilemma here. We're trying to figure out splicing. My understanding is completely different than the understanding of, uh, I guess, how they do it here in the Philippines, you would say. My understanding is you would do your top splicing in the center and your bottom splicing uh, and on the bottom close to your uh, your columns so if you did the splicing like they have it here both here right up here this is actually gonna be a weak point because you're getting all your weight coming down right here on your columns on here so this isn't gonna hold this now down here they have no weight so the splicing is fine here. So the pressure is right here, no pressure here. Well, minimum, you could say. But when you get over here, your splicing is better up here because you have no pressure here and all your pressure is gonna be down here. So like, it's gonna go down like this. So this will squish in, this will bow out. So you want this 
to be one steady piece, this one you can splice into. I think that's it. I don't know, but uh, if I'm wrong, please comment. If I'm right, please comment. We'd like to hear your guys' comments. Uh, I'm just going off of what I've been taught and what I've seen online from a couple different people. So I would like to uh, hear your guys' comments and uh, maybe your explanations. If, if mine's wrong and the pressure's different on, on the splicings and, and how it's done. Because I, if you look at the splicing, yeah, okay, they got their bend here. So it's even, it's an even run. So it's all the, the same, same height and they come down and they splice it into it. So that, that I'm happy with. Um, they should be a little bit offset, which they are. And uh, also, uh, I was told that these runs for the splicing or the little whoop -dees are uh, supposed to be 60, uh, 60 centimeters. And then um, when you read online, it says 64. I mean, I'm sure four centimeters is just a m little tiny minute. I don't know how much of a difference it would make. But uh, maybe it's a big difference. I don't know. Can someone uh, help us out on explaining all this information? Other than what what I just said about all the rebar uh, splicing. Thank you. Well, we are continuing our first tie beam from yesterday right there. And we have a little bit of... Uh, had an issue a while ago because it's too short. I think uh, we are currently using a, a six meter length and probably we have to request to our contractor in the future to use the nine meter length so they, so they can have a better connection on the splicing over the middle. Well, so the splicing ended up over here in the middle exactly what my husband wanted at first but because we're too short on our 16 mm pretty much every pieces that's why we have a uh, extra piece of bar here to strengthen this metal part so this piece right here is an extra 16 mm in the middle right there and then they bent it like an L shape right there they hook it in there and then that one in the bottom so it's just perfectly uh, <laughs> 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 so yeah that's what that one is just a continuous for the bottom but they use an extra two bar right here and then this one and yeah and then this one is all connected from there well our engineer is here how is the trip that's scary we have a new folder <laughs> oh man well our contractor and the foreman and my husband are trying to figure out about the tie beam because this column is not aligned to the rest of column so i don't know what they're trying to talk about having the tie beam over here but it's just a straight shot for the tree, except this one. Well, they're done setting this up and they're going to uh, continue the front corner. So this one is a little bit shorter tie beam. So they have to cut the rebar because this is not exactly six meter. they are so fast they already built this one up front a lot happened today they almost did the wrap around tie beam the, around the house over there and then one over there but I'll show you guys what is the remaining around the house that doesn't have a tie beams so right there in the middle this one and right here a lot happened today thank you guys for watching please subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit the bell if you want to get notified and i get and we'll see you tomorrow
Bye.